As far west as Idaho, down from the glacier peaks of the Rockies, from as far east as Pennsylvania, down from the turkey ridges of the Alleghenies, down from Minnesota, 2,500 miles, the Mississippi River runs to the Gulf, carrying every drop of water that flows down two thirds the continent, carrying every brook and rill, rivulet and creek, carrying all the rivers that run down two-thirds the continent, the Mississippi runs to the Gulf of Mexico. Down the Yellowstone, the Milk, the White and Cheyenne, the Cannonball, the Mussel Shell, the James and the Sioux, down the Judith, the Grand, the Osage, and the Platte, the Skunk, the Salt, the Black, and Minnesota. Down the Rock, the Illinois, and the Kankakee, the Allegheny, the Monongahela, Kanawha, and Muskingum. Down the Miami, the Wabash, the Licking, and the Green, the Cumberland, the Kentucky, and the Tennessee. Down the Wachita, the Wichita, the Red, and Yazoo. Down the Missouri, 3,000 miles from the Rockies. Down the Ohio, a thousand miles from the Allegheny. Down the Arkansas, 1,500 miles from the Great Divide. Down the Red, a thousand miles from Texas. Down the Great Valley, 2,500 miles from Minnesota. Carrying every rivulet and brook, creek and rill. Carrying all the rivers that run down two-thirds the continent, the Mississippi runs to the Gulf. New Orleans to Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge to Natchez, Natchez to Vicksburg, Vicksburg to Memphis, Memphis to Cairo. We built a dike a thousand miles long, men and mules, mules and mud, mules and mud a thousand miles up the Mississippi. A century before we bought the Great Western River, the Spanish and the French built dikes to keep the Mississippi out of New Orleans at flood stage. In 40 years, we continued the levee the entire length of the great alluvial delta. That mud plain that extends from the Gulf of Mexico clear to the mouth of the Ohio. The ancient valley built up for centuries by the old river spilling her floods across the bottom of the continent. A mud delta of 40,000 square miles. Men and mules, mules and mud. New Orleans to Baton Rouge, Natchez to Vicksburg, Memphis to Cairo, a thousand miles up the river. And the planters brought their blacks and their plows and their cotton over to the river. Down through the Boone Train, down through Cumberland Gap, over from Georgia and South Carolina, over from the Tidewater, over from the old cotton land west to the Big River west to the Steamboat Highway, down the highway to the sea. Corn and oats down 
the Missouri. Tobacco and whiskey down the Ohio. Down from Pittsburgh, down from St. Louis. Hemp and potatoes, pork and flour. We sent our commerce to the sea. We made cotton king. We rolled a million bales down the river for Liverpool and Leeds. 1860. We rolled four million bales down the river. Rolled them off Alabama. Rolled them off Mississippi. Rolled them off Louisiana. Rolled them down the river. We fought a war. We fought a war and kept the west bank of the river free of slavery forever. But we left the old south impoverished and stricken. Doubly stricken. Because besides the tragedy of war, already the frenzied cotton cultivation of a quarter of a century had taken toll of the land. We mined the soil for cotton until it would yield no more, and then moved west. We fought a war, but there was a double tragedy. The tragedy of land twice impoverished. Black spruce and Norway pine. Douglas fir and red cedar, scarlet oak and shag bark hickory, hemlock and aspen. There was lumber in the north. The war impoverished the old south. The railroads killed the steamboats. But there was lumber in the north. Heads up, lumber on the upper river. Heads up, lumber enough to cover all Europe. Down from Minnesota and Wisconsin, down to St. Paul, down to St. Louis and St. Joe, lumber for the new continent of the West, lumber for the new mill.
Timber in the north, coal in the hill. Iron and coal down the Monongahela. Iron and coal down the Ohio. Down to Pittsburgh, down to Wheeling. Iron and coal for the steel mill. For the railroads driving west and south. For the new cities of the Great Valley. machinery and cleared new land in the west. Ten million bales down to the Gulf. Cotton for the spools of England and France. Fifteen million bales down to the Gulf. Cotton for the spools of Italy and Germany. built a hundred cities and a thousand towns. St. Paul in Minneapolis, Davenport and Keokuk, Moline and Quincy, Cincinnati and St. Louis, Omaha and Kansas City. Across to the Rockies and down to Minnesota, 2,500 miles to New Orleans. We built a new continent. Douglas fir and red cedar. Scarlet oak and shag bark hickory. We built a hundred cities and a thousand towns. But at what a cost? We cut the top off the Alleghenies and sent it down the river. We cut the top off Minnesota and sent it down the river. We cut the top off Wisconsin and sent it down the river. We left the mountains and the hills slashed and burned and moved on. Water comes downhill, spring and fall. Down from the cut over mountains, down from the plowed off slopes. From as far west as Idaho, and as far east as Pennsylvania. Down every brook and rill, rivulet and creek. 